Notice that I am one lawful person. January 14, 2020 by Anna Von writes. I don't have superpowers. I don't have unlimited time. I don't have unlimited space. I don't have unlimited help. I don't have unlimited resources of any kind. I don't have the immediate answer to every question and every need. I get on average several thousand emails a day. I get several hundred pieces of mail every single day. We, my team and I, do our best to share the results of our research and our legal and diplomatic work, but it is a gross understatement to say that we are stretched thin and often exhausted. It isn't that we don't sympathize. It isn't that we don't want to help. But you are all grown-ups and you can see that there is no way for our relatively small organization to assist 320 million people one-on-one. -on -one. It just isn't possible. That is why we have made and continue to make the effort to educate your state coordinators and also to educate you directly, to better enable you to know who you are and defend yourselves and develop court admissible evidence in your own behalf in support of your position as an American. There are many, many issues to address, everything from lawful postage rates to child custody to income taxes and beyond. As we are currently set up and funded, by donations, we can't address them all. Every day I get up and I have to pick and choose what I can do today. Everyone reading this needs to consider, what can I do today to help myself or help someone else get through this? In exactly the same way I do. There are those who are used to the nanny state, and who assume that we should be able to hand out welfare and do all the things that they are used to receiving from their government, but that is not and never was our government. Self-governance is an entirely different prospect. Nearly every day I have to reply to people whining that they aren't getting enough service. Where do they think these services are coming from? If you self-govern, they come from where? We have to do this ourselves, all of it. Our own court system. Our own peacekeeping. Our own money. Our own record keeping. Our own political system. Our own elections. Think. We have boarded our ship of state and we are running it on a skeleton crew. We are making headway and maneuvering skillfully. We are doing all that we can possibly do for the country and the people as a whole, and as we can, for individual people, too. But, that said, we cannot and do not propose to do everything for everyone and that is not the proposal we have set before you at all. You have the right to self-govern, but you have to have the will to self-govern, too. You have to grab an oar and do the actual work. You have to fund it. You have to participate in it. You have responsibilities that go with the rights you are heir to, and sitting around carping about your rights while failing to exercise them, is just so much hot air. We have developed effective information to help you safely stop paying federal income taxes. We have developed effective means for you to reclaim your birthright political status and lay claim to your assets. We have developed an organized government in most states of the Union and through these organizations are training more people to assist people in reclaiming their birthright political status, do credit exchanges, fight illegal foreclosures, and provide more support for individuals. Your state assembly is the place where you need to go for help with these sorts of issues and if you don't have a state assembly yet, you need to form one. This is self-governance in action. Please consider making a small donation to help support Anna Von Wrights and the Living Law Firm by visiting AnnaVonWrights.com and click on the donate button. Thank you.